Hello and welcome to 5 Facts About ARP, the means by which a device's MAC address is obtained. In order to send and receive information on a network, a device is required to have two forms of identification, a MAC address and an IP address. The MAC address is generally seen as a local address and goes mostly unchanged for the lifetime of the device. The IP address, on the other hand, has a much broader reach and can change many times for a device. Together, these two addresses will help to guide messages across the network to their destination. The issue that arises is that in order to send a message, these two addresses will have to be known. And sometimes the only information that is available to a device is the IP address of the device it wants to send a message to. So to correctly address its message so that it will get to its destination, a device will use what is called the Address Resolution Protocol or ARP to obtain the needed MAC address. Let's look at an example. So say device A wants to communicate with device B, but the only information that device A has on device B is its IP address. To obtain device's B MAC address, device A will first check its ARP cache to see if the information is available from a prior connection. If the information cannot be found, then the time has come to use ARP. So device A needs device's B MAC address. To remedy the situation, device A uses the address resolution protocol to broadcast a message to all devices within the local network asking that the device with the matching IP address reply with its MAC address. Upon receiving the incoming message, device B finds that its IP address is a match and responds with its MAC address. Now device A has all the information it needs to send a message directly to device B. And that is the purpose of ARP. So ARP has done its job, but what about the next time device A wants to send a message to device B? Well, this is where the ARP cache comes in handy. After a device's MAC address has been obtained through ARP, to avoid having to use ARP again, delaying the connection process and congesting the network, the information is stored for future use. Here are some additional facts. ARP is a local process that cannot extend beyond the local network. It uses a special MAC address known as the broadcast MAC address that works like a master key for connecting with all devices within the local network. So there it is, five facts about ARP. Do you have a question or a fact of your own? Leave a comment. And if you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.